Welcome to the Pray for Nathan show. you never guess where I am today. I am in an ancient fir oak tree. Just look at this beauty. Nice big wide branches. Couple hundred years old. This tree has been featured in many photos throughout the history of the park and is also considered to be the oldest tree in the driving park. Massive burrow. We're at Grove Cemetery here in Dundas. And here's that ash tree we saw in the winter. It looks like it's a white ash tree to me. And look how healthy it is. It's a few dead spots, but for the mostly this tree is unaffected by the ash bar. I bet you they're spending money to uh, because you can treat the trees and prevent ash borer, and I bet you they're doing that. This is supposed to be a very old historical tree, this ash. Just look at the size of it. Here is uh, ash tree number two. Tulip tree. We don't know how old the tree is, but we know the house was built in 1846 by Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Howard Mackenzie. The owners are dedicated stewards for this tree and nursed it through an accident that saw a large evergreen tree fall into its center, destroying the crown a few years ago. American beech tree. That is possibly one of the trays. If you recall from our last series, we couldn't find tree number seven. There's a good specimen right there. That could be it. I don't know what kind of tree that is. This looks like tree number eight. By the location on the map, and you see the steel wire holding it together, I'm assuming that's it. But you can't help but notice the giant black walnut in the background. This Cronson cherry was believed to be planted in the early 1940s. Here are remnants of what is the biggest tree I've ever seen. The school has decided to uh, use it to make uh, little pedestals and chairs and everything. And just look at the size of that. It's now turned into a playground. And remember we came here in the winter and this tree was all hacked up, it looked like it was all dang. And now we see they're just trying to uh, keep it small. Beautiful. Kind of looks like a character with his hair all out of place. Kind of reminds me of Sideshow Bob. And here is the old and I also assume is a beech tree. Tree number two. 